Welcome back grade 11s. In this video we are looking at the save and save as function. In our previous video we looked at the file menu and then we had the save and save as option. Now you'll see when I click on save it takes me to save as. And when I click on save as, guess what? <laughs> it keeps me in save as. All right. Now the whole reason for this is because, and we can track it back to this item over here, this shows us this is a blank word document it's the first one that i've created but i have not saved this document oh no all right <laughs> so let's do that now you'll see in the top left hand corner i've got this button that says save all right now what the button is supposed to do and what it usually does is to save the changes that's made to an existing document now do we have an existing document no why because we haven't saved it only once we've saved the document do we have an existing document. So you'll see when I click on that, guess where it takes me to? Save as. So let's go uh, browse because most of you will have this pop up, okay, if you've got Office 2010. And we're going to navigate and say we wanted to go to the desktop and we want to save this as um, test123. I'm saving it as the type word document, so I'm leaving everything as is, and I click save. Now look at what happens over here. Immediately test one, two, three appears, because now the blank word document has been saved as test one, two, three, and that's what will open. So now if I type in this is a test, and guess what? And we go test in one, two, three. And I click save. Look at what it does now. It doesn't bring up the box anymore. The name is still the same because now it's done what it's supposed to, which is save the changes to the existing document. Now, as soon as I have this existing document, what happens if I go file save as? Well, if I click file save as and I click on browse, look what it does now. We go in save as, but now I can choose where I want to save this document. So let's say you have the document on the desktop, you've made some changes, but you want to save it to uh, an assignment folder or something like that. On the left hand side, you can go and select where you want to save it to. So I'm just going to say documents and I'm going to keep the name the same and the type the same. And what am I going to do now? If I click on save, it takes me back to my document. But when I now actually go and look here in my documents, guess what I see? There's the document that I saved as test one, two, three. So I hope that helps you in understanding now the difference between save and save as. Remember, save is to save the changes to an existing document and save as we can save our existing documents um, at, to a different place under a different name and even as a different file type. Thank you.